and onto the knees. So if you're comfortable kneeling, if you're not comfortable kneeling, that's fine. Come into a cross legged position. And you might even use your comb, play your comb, your foam block to place underneath your buttocks if that's a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. See if that works for you. Otherwise, cross legs is fine. And let's bring the arms together. We're just going to interlace the fingers and stretch the arms out. And let's wrap the shoulders into the back of the body. Really drawing them into the back. Keep the ribs and the belly in. Just slowly begin to take the hands up. Keeping the shoulders down. But slowly, sensitively here. Moving the arms up just as far as you can. Keep the shoulders down. The ribs in, belly in. And then exhale, do the opposite. So tilt the pelvis back and stretch out through the back of the body, chin down. And let's do it again. Inhale, rack the shoulder blades down the back, slowly bringing the arms up. Keep them down, shoulders down, shoulders down, ribs in. And exhale, round through the spine, chin to the chin. Two more. Inhale. Going a little bit further, so some pay attention to your shoulders. And exhale, round through the spine, chin down. Okay, let's inhale, reach all the way up. And let's release the hands, take the right hand to the right. Shift the hips to the left. Roll the left shoulder down and back, and reach over to the right. You guys, we're all reaching the opposite. Supporting the head. Now exhale, you can reach out through the fingers. And reach out as far as you can, getting a nice stretch through the back. Roll the shoulder down and back, and let's inhale, reach the arms over. Three more times. Exhale. So breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale. Nice and slowly. Feel that. Through the shoulder, shoulder joint. Inhale, reaching over. Nice big breath. Come on. Reaching, reaching, reaching. And inhale. Let's sit here. Inhale, come up, and let's do the other side. So roll the right shoulder down the back. Shift the weight into the opposite hip, right? And we reach the left. So exhale, reach out through the fingers, stretching through the back of the body, shoulder blade. Inhale, reach. And again, exhale, reaching out. And inhale, over. Again, reaching up. And over. We'll do one more. Exhale, reach, 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 reach all the way up to the fingers. And inhale, over. And let's inhale, come up. Place the fingertips behind you. So if you're in a cross legged position here, see if you can come onto your knees. And if this position is too strong for you, then this will be your option. Lifting out of the chest, supporting the head, and you're just getting a gentle back up. Just make sure that you're not going back up. So only this option, Kelvin, if this one is a little bit too strong. So we squeeze the buttocks, lifting up out of the chest, everybody. Good. And then place the buttocks back on the heels or as close to the chest. And reach the arms forward. So we're going to flow a little bit. Inhale here, round up through the spine, chin to the chest, squeeze the buttocks, and just slowly begin to bring your hips forward. Bring them forward to a comfortable point. Roll the shoulders back and lift out of the chest. So getting that back knee, the shoulder blades back. Draw the belly button back. So engage your core. Place the body back on the heel. Inhale, coming up with the arms. 
or your upper body might be up a little bit higher, but it's off the heels if you're taking that option. And to the floor, or you're in a more of an upright position. So, the arms squeeze the glutes, support the head, and buttocks to the heel. Reach the hands forward. Round up through the spine, chin to the chest. So stretch out through the back as you bring the hips forward. Squeeze the glutes, lift up out of the chin. Roll the shoulders back. Strong through the legs. Draw the belly button back. Buttocks on the heel. So we're going to do two more flows, sequence. Inhale, round up, arms wide, moving a little bit quicker now. Exhale, hands to the floor, four, more of an upright. Inhale, lift the hips up, support the head. Stretch out the front of the body. Buttocks to the heel. Reach the hands forward, bowing down. Round through the spine, chin to the chest. Gently bring the hips forward, squeeze the buttocks, lifting out of the chest, shoulder, draw the belly button back, buttocks on the heels, we do one more round, arms up, bracing the breath, exhale, fingers to the floor, four hips, inhale, lift up, exhale, Buttocks down, reaching forward. Inhale, rounding up through the spine, chin to the chest, squeeze the glutes, cobra, jump us up. Now this time we draw the belly button back, we tuck the toes under, we push into the base of the fingers and we take the buttocks to the ceiling. And let's take one heel down to the floor at a time. So walk the legs out on the spot. And shift through the hips, stretching out through the hamstrings. Stretch out. And then bend both legs, pushing back. Stretching out through the shoulders, pushing into the base of the fingers. And walk the hands or the feet forwards. And just hang in Uttanasana. So the feet are hip width apart. We're just going to hang forwards here. You can either hold on to your elbow or you can rest the hands on the floor and just gently swing from side to side. Relax. Stretch out the back and strings. Yeah. Okay, you don't have to touch the floor. <laughs> hold on to the elbow. <laughs> Back. Okay, let's come back into a neutral position here. Bend the legs, belly chest on the thighs, take the hands behind the back, place fingers, and stretch the arms over. And you might turn from one side, smile at your neighbor, <laughs> and then turn to the other side, just pulling back through each shoulder. Okay, back into a neutral position, release the hands to the floor, and let's walk back out into downward dog. Or you can rest on your hands and knees. Otherwise, a little bit more walking out through the legs, getting into the hamstrings.
Inhale, let's lift up to halfway. Exhale, bend the legs, come all the way up, one, and
to the hips. So we want those hips as low as we can. Use the wall if you need to cover them, that's fine. A bend that left leg. Sink you down. And everybody, let's inhale, come all the way up, reach the arms up, push the toes off, and release that right foot. And let's release the arms and just roll over, stretching out through the feet. So if you're not used to balancing for the longer periods of time, you Okay, let's do the other side. We'll see how the right side goes. So we ground through that right foot. And that drishti, one point in front of us. Okay, so let's take hold of the left knee. Finding that point balance again. From the right leg, got it. Take the hand to the knee out to the side. Right hand on the hip. Something up through that hip a little bit. Nice, bringing it back, twisting right hand on the outside, index finger thumb together, slowly begin to look over your back shoulder, reaching that arm out. Bringing the hand back, hands, both hands on the hip. Knee up nice and high, and let's kick it away. One, inhale, exhale, kick it away. Two, three, and one more. Four, bend to the leg, take yourself to the wall if you need a bit of support. But then the right leg as well and flex this left foot. Arms are together, you reach up and make sure on the wall, that's fine. And then we exhale, we sink down into the hips, getting a nice stretch, the glute hip area. Lean into that back heel, bottom heel, and hips. So there's no weight going through the knee. Okay, let's inhale, come all the way up, pushing off the toes, arms together, and release the leg. Roll over the toes, just loosen up here. So we're going to step the right foot back. So let's turn, start to open up the hips a little bit here. So let's turn both feet out and bend the legs. So we push the knees wide and the ankles will roughly be underneath. So we're going to twist a little bit here. So we breathe in, shoulders are relaxed. And then on the exhale, push that right knee away and twist the left. Okay. Inhale, brings you up. And let's twist to the right, pushing the left knee away. Inhale up, right shoulder, left knee. Inhale up, left shoulder, right knee. Good. Two more, inhale up, keep both hips the same, both hips, both knees, twist, one more, follow the breath, exhale. So now let's inhale, come back to center, bring the forearms onto the thighs, index finger thumbs together, yana mudra, and let's just start to work into the hips a little bit more, keep lifting out of the chest, spine straight, Staying here, keeping the gaze on one point. Breath nice and even. Okay, 
Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, good. Straightening the legs, turn the heels out, turn the toes in, and let's just hang forwards here. Stretching out again. Move around, you can wriggle around a little bit. Turning to the left leg and folding yourself over the left leg. And then folding yourself in. Good, and then turn to the right leg and folding yourself over the right side. And now back to the left leg. Now turn that left foot sideways. Place the forearm or hand on the inside of the left foot and reach up through that right arm. Ashvakanasana. So if you're a little bit, so Nick, turn that front foot forward. Yep. So if you're a little bit more flexible, you'll have the hand on the floor on the inside of the front foot. Otherwise, forearm on the thigh, top arm up. Good. Back leg is straight. That front knee is facing forward, not rolling in. Good. Okay, top hand now down to the floor and let's turn around. So we turn that back foot so that it's parallel to the back edge of the mat. We turn the front foot to the back and the hand is either on the floor again, reaching the left arm up or forearm on the thigh. Same as you did before, but other side. So the front heel is going to cut the back foot in half. Back leg is nice and strong. Okay, take this top hand now down to the floor. Let's do it again on the other side. Take your time, back foot. Back edge of that mat. Those of you who would like to bind, Katie, you might want to bind here. Otherwise, your hand is on the inside of that front leg. We reach the right arm up or on the forearm. But try and open up into this pose a bit more now. So there's no falling out of the pose. Shoulders, line of the hips. Good. directly over the mouth. All right, top hand now down to the floor, and let's do the other side last time. Take a bit, just a bit more time to check out your alignment. Back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Front heel is going to cut that back foot in half. Should be all feeling pretty comfortable in it now. Back leg straight. No one falling out of the pose. Back leg strong. Okay, take this top hand out down to the floor. Now let's turn both feet out and bend this front leg. 
So now we start to get a little bit of a stretch. So we're leaning this way. Check ankle underneath. Left forearm is on that thigh and we begin to stay into the hips. Now, keep this back foot connected, especially the back edge of that back foot connected so that you don't go sideways into that right knee. Your knees do not like going sideways. So if you haven't, you're not working that foot, all the pressure is going to go through that knee, which is not going to be a good thing. So arch lifted. Powering down through the outside of that foot, support this knee. Really important. If you're a little bit more flexible, you can lift the toes up, which will turn this knee into a better position. And you can go down a little bit deeper. And you just go down as far as you feel comfortable. So tune into your body. How far can you go? without compromising your breath or your concentration. And let's inhale, come up and let's do the other side. So choose your option with that left foot. Gently work the right knee out. Check that your ankle is under the knee. Straight line here. Work the knee out. The back foot is strong, strongly connected. We'll lift the toes up. And one more time to each side. Bending the left leg, sinking down. Either toes up or foot on the floor. Chin bone is straight. Keep working that left knee out. So if you go deeper, some of you may need to just lengthen your stance a little bit more so that you keep that shin bone straight and the knees not going in front of the ankle. Yeah, let's inhale, come up and let's turn around to the front of your mat. You can choose your option. You can either step back or step forward, rolling or walk the legs out, down the top. Just do what you feel. You might move through the cancer. Okay, and now let's come down to the floor. Right shin bone forward first, left shin bone behind. So you're either rolling back onto the buttocks or take the feet out to the side and come down. So we're going to do a little bit of core. So let's place the feet parallel. Engage your core. Now, just depending on your back here, if you find that you're falling down and your back's getting a little bit vulnerable, 
then just make your way comfortably to the floor and then start working up from the floor rather than from up to the floor. Okay, so shift back. So we draw the core in, and it's just slightly on the thighs, and we're just going to slowly, one third at a time, slowly roll back. Okay, four engage, okay, feet flat. Squeeze, slowly rolling back. Take control, then the feet. But anytime you need to roll back completely, that's fine. And then you can start from the floor up. Okay, so adjust your feet if you need to. Take an inhale on the exhale, flatten through the spine and slowly begin to curl the body up. And you can come up as far as you can, might be a little bit. Might be halfway or it might be all the way. Keep hanging your feet. Okay, now we go. Coming down. Slow and control. Get an inhale or a hollow rather on the inhale. On the exhale. Flattening through the back, squeezing, lifting up. That's coming up as far as you can, that's fine. And then coming down. So if you struggle to come all the way up, stay halfway or just below. Okay, now let's bring the soles of the feet together, interlace the fingers, index fingers are straight, thumbs across. Reach the arms above the head. Now, if it's a bit strong with your legs like this, then you can keep them bent like you did before. Otherwise, soles of the feet together. Take an inhale, drawing up through the bunda. Exhale, reaching through the legs. And really squeeze your legs up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then inhale down. Nice big breath. Exhale, drawing up, flattening through the back, squeeze. And down. Exhale, drawing up, squeeze. Go as far as you can. And down. Squeeze. Um, ten more, or you might do five. You might do every six. Growing up, squeeze one, two, bring up, squeeze down, three. So if you feel that your head is getting a little bit or neck is getting a little bit tense, just place the hands behind the head just for a bit of extra support. If you feel you need a little bit of support for the spine and down. Six coming up. Three. And down, four more, seven. Down, eight. Down, nine. And the last one. And reach up, squeeze. Oh, 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 oh. Now turn the palms away, stretch out the legs, and have a big stretch out. Draw the belly back, flex the feet, 
point the toes, bend the legs so the feet are flat on the floor and place the hands behind your head. Bring the elbows towards each other. Gently take the chin to the chest. We're stretching out the neck, turning the head gently from one side to the other. Back into a neutral position and release the head down. So let's roll the shoulders, bring the feet in a little bit closer. Make sure the feet are parallel. And let's lift the hips up, roll the shoulders under, interlace the fingers. And let's see if we can stretch out through the tummy, work with glutes, legs a little bit. Get the hips nice and high. Breathing just check it with your foundation. So your heels are applying with your toes. Rest for a moment, relax. Okay, let's do it again. Rolling the hips up. Very nice to stretch out the lungs, work the legs a little bit. Notice if one buttock is working a little bit more than the other. Try and work both buttocks nice and evenly. Both knees are parallel. Feet are nice and balanced. And coming down, rest for a moment. Keep the feet on the floor. So we'll do one more. And those of you who can do full back bend, you feel comfortable doing that, feel free to come up for your last one. Otherwise, half back bend, let's go again. Hips up, last time. And then releasing down, it's the hands just by the side. Keep the feet on the floor for a moment. OK, 
Okay, let's bring the knees into the chest, but just try and keep the lower back on the floor. So you want to compress the spine neutrally. You don't want to be lifting up through the pelvis. What a nice compression, even compression through the spine. Might even do a little rock from side to side. Try and keep the lower back on the floor. Okay, hold on to the chin bones and let's rock and catch our balance as we come up. If you're quite happy here, you can just stay here for a moment. You might even put your knees into the chest. If you're comfortable, you might just rock a few more times. Find a nice way to massage the spine. Just noticing if there's any little anchor points through the back. Otherwise, stay where you are and do two more rocks. Your rocking. One, catching your balance, and one more. Rocking up. Okay, now everyone, let's stretch that left leg out. Can we come into Jones Pusasana? Forward fold. So lift the buttocks up. So this is where you might want to use your fork block to sit up if you need a bit of extra time. So let's engage this left quadricep muscle. If you've got a bit of tension through this right hip knee, then you might place a fork block, or I've got blocks up here as well. You might place it under the hip. Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, let's inhale here. And then on the exhale, we're just going to slowly come forward. So the chin is down, keep lifting out of the chest, spine straight. Close your eyes, breathing in, pushing the back of the leg into the floor, lifting, lengthening. Exhale, softening. Get the back muscles working. Breathing in, lifting, lengthening. Exhale, softening. More breaths here. And slowly come up. Let's bring this right stretch it up and bring the left knee in towards the side. Lift the buttocks up if you need to. Engage this right quadricep muscle. Take an inhale here. And on the exhale, slowly come forward again. Keep the spine lifted, the chest lifted. Inhale. Slowly come up and let's bring Padakanasana, soles of the feet together. Okay, you need a little bit of support here. Let go. Got some blocks in the bag. Okay, so let's inhale, sit up nice and straight, work the legs down with your leg strength, and then exhale slowly. Forwards again. Lifting out of the chest, breathing in, lifting, lengthening, eyes closed, and exhale, maybe coming a little bit 
Deeper, stretch. Your elbows reach the legs. You might even push gently. So hit one knee, one hip. Feels a lot more locked up than the other. Slowly come up, bring the knees together. We're going to shuffle a little twist. So just shuffle yourself forward to the front of the mat. And use your core to roll yourself down again, slowly. And when you come down, we're going to place the right foot on the left side. And flex that right foot. Take the hands out to the side and take the knees to the right. So the right foot is on top. Good. And you're looking over your left shoulder, stretching out through the tummy. Keeping the shoulders on the floor. Breathing into the belly. Now inhale, come up, keep the legs where they are, and exhale, roll over to the other side. So your right foot will be on the floor. And you can take your left hand, place it on that right knee, and gently bring that right knee towards the floor. This gives you quite a deep stretch through the sacrum and through the hip again. the right shoulder on the floor and looking over your right shoulder. Now come up and let's swap sides. So left foot on the right side, take the knees to the left, first of all. And let's inhale, come up, other side. See how this side feels. You might take that right hand and place it on the left side, gently working it down to the floor. And let's inhale, come up, and exhale, relax, or shavasana. So you can either have your legs straight, or you can have your knees together, palms turned up, or on your belly, and just take a few nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and relax, rest. 